Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, and today, verse 24 to 28. When the messengers of John had departed, he began to speak the, to the multitudes concerning John. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind. But what did you go out to see? A man clothed in soft garments. Indeed, those who are gorgeously apparelled and live in luxury are in king's courts. But what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I say to you, and more than a prophet, this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. For I say to you, among those born of women, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist, but he who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. So Jesus is responding here, and he, you know, instead of rebuking John, there's no rebuke for John, he just sends the messengers away. And after they go, what does Jesus do? Does he say, look, John just doesn't get it. You know, he's kind of still in the old paradigm. There's no condemnation here for John. Jesus is not offended about John. Jesus simply says, you know what? John is the forerunner. And by implication, I am the Messiah. John is the forerunner. And if you thought, you know, you again, this a lot of this whole section here is about expectations. What did you expect? And many times we, we bring our expectations. This is what Messiah will be like. This is what his forerunner will be like. And this is what he will do. But again, we find here, this is what God will do. So what does Jesus do? He completely, uh, he completely comes and just endorses, full endorsement on John the Baptist. He is the one, and he's more than a prophet because he is the messenger of the Messiah. That's something different about John the Baptist. There's, you know, John's work was to tell about Jesus. John didn't do lots of big miracles. John didn't raise people from the dead all day long. John is telling that Jesus is coming. That's a unique work. It's something actually a little bit different and a little bit more than a regular prophet to be the one, the appointed one, who's going to announce that Jesus is coming. That was the work of John, and Jesus lays it out here fully. Uh, John is not just a guy in soft clothing. Don't be, let your expectations cause you to lose your pathway. John is the forerunner, and of course, by implication, I am the I am. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Jesus is so patient, so patient with us. Lord, we thank you for that patience, that mercy. We pray that you would be as gentle and kind to us, even when we have misconceptions, as perhaps even John, if John was impatient or lacking something here, Jesus certainly doesn't reveal that. Lord, may, may your very mercies like that be true for us as we also serve you, as John the Baptist was your servant before the first coming Lord, may we in these last days be your servant, your John the Baptist servant group before the return. May that return come quickly. We ask for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may God's blessing be upon you today as, again, we are ready to lay aside preconceptions and go to the Word and find out, you know, get the facts. Get the facts. God's blessing be upon you today.